What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about Faraday Future. I want to give you an overview of some of the current data points, break it down on the news that they just put out, what it truly does mean, and then aside from that, what will be coming in the next couple days. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So at the time of doing this video, it is down 10%. It did have a new all-time low of about 4.8 cents today, and 50.3 million shares being traded, 31.6 is the average. No official news news today, but there was news that they did come out with yesterday. And it does say Faraday Future announces Werner Wilhelm as executive launch director. So I've never heard anyone as the ELD before, but based on his track record, like any other circumstance, if this happened maybe two years prior, then yes, this probably would be a fairly good catalyst to buy based on, again, his history and whatnot. But as of right now, it just makes zero logical sense because most likely they're going to be knocked down to OTC in two days. So some people, I, based on my last video, were kind of arguing in the comments only because they did say that based off of this news right here, that they have 60 days to rectify this 10K deficiency. And I completely agree with you. So as of right now, they technically are deficient with the $1 bid price rule as what you do see right here. So this is NASDAQ's website at the very top right here. So the bid price of $1 is number one, their first deficiency. This one is the second deficiency, so this whole 10K, but it does say that they will be listed under this website, so there'll be a second tab, roughly, I think it was five days after April the 18th. So ultimately, this week, it will be added to that list. So there'll be two deficiencies. And I do agree that they have time to rectify this. And beside the point, they already did say that would be submitted in April. So I think this whole 10K thing is just a, it's not even a, worth a discussion um, ultimately. But something that is worth having a discussion over is that whole 10 cent bid price rule. So any company trading below 10 cents for 10 consecutive trading days, that means they are instantly knocked off the exchange. Of course, any company can appeal that, so it means pay 20,000 goes to a hearing panel and everything. But given all the current deficiencies of Faraday, I think the NASDAQ will instantly say no bueno and just kick them off, especially looking right here of all the kind of historic reverse stock splits that they have done. So they did a one for 80 and then a one for three. So they are kind of capping it. And plus Faraday will have to say to the NASDAQ, what is their plan to rectify this deficiency? And if they say reverse stock split, well, you know what? NASDAQ is going to try to protect the public and just say, no, get down to OTC. So as of right now, with today being Wednesday, this is now the 11th consecutive trading day with Faraday below 10 cents. So they are technically going to be kicked off most likely this week. So it has been a long road that Faraday has been on, but essentially this is where if you do currently hold Faraday, double check with your brokerage that you can actually trade OTC. So if you are a current investor in Faraday, you will still have your shares. So your brokerage will have that, but you won't be able to buy anymore. Um, that's again, if your broker doesn't allow OTC trading. So just at this stage in the game, double check. If you, for any reason, don't have access to OTC, then this is probably the time to sell while it still is under the NASDAQ umbrella, um, which again, won't be all too much longer. So as bad as it sounds, this has been the writing on the wall for a very long time, especially based on a lot of my videos. It has been generally very bearish. And surprisingly, I don't know if people are just trolling um, in my comments, but a lot of people have been saying that they've been buying Faraday and kind of averaging down. So I've never really understood that because they haven't been putting out any news and especially based on their financials, just how much cash and cash equivalents they have, which was last reported right here in September, since obviously their 10K is uh, late, but $6.7 million. So they should be belly up right now. The reason why they're not is because they've been diluting to kingdom come. So it's a very unfortunate scenario and I, maybe that is why they're waiting for that 10K to be kind of put out at the end of the month, or at least why they're delaying it, probably because they know once they do submit it, the market is going to see excessive, and probably that's an understatement, massive amount of dilution, and thus causing the stock price to go down so much more. 
which at this stage in the game, I don't know how much more it, like lower it can get because right now the market cap is only $2.3 million. Shorts though are slowly returning a little bit. So they're returning about 119,000 shares. So again, something to consider. I think maybe they're afraid if it does go down to OTC that it might another Fisker scenario might come. So a big run up. So maybe they're just taking the profits at this stage in the game. I'm not really sure, but looking at options, you do see a lot of bearish options. So 63% of all the options being done so far today are bearish. Of course, big money isn't really looking at Faraday as you can kind of see right here. And actually, sorry, this is lucid. So just pulling up Faraday, you see absolutely nothing on the dark pool. Absolutely nothing as well. So uh, still, it's kind of a, a bad scenario. And the only reason why it is at these prices is because it is on a strong support. So it is at this S2 right here so 4.83 is a strong support so all in all i think this is going to be the finale of faraday and like i said in previous videos i think a lot of people did have a lot of hope for it including myself just i don't know things got very bad you can tell things started to get very bad when in september of last year when they started to really fluff up their pr and you can always look back at everything and kind of see the fact that they were really trying to incentivize buying. And one thing that always rubbed me the wrong way was when they did disclose that their management was gonna be taking half their salaries and buying the physical stock itself. That never happened. So I think it's just a very, very sketchy thing. And plus in here, uh, when was, I don't even remember when, I think it was mid last year, that's where they did signal that they were hiring share Intel to go against the market manipulation, going to prompt a lawsuit. None of that amounted to anything. So I think just everything that has happened with Faraday has just been false promises. And like I've said in the past, I'm surprised there hasn't been a lawsuit against this company because everything that they've said that they're going to do for the most part has been like nothing um, but then again they have absolutely no money so why is someone going to waste their time suing faraday it to sit in litigation for probably like a year and them have no money and even when palantir technically is going to be receiving money from them palantir is not going to receive their money either like faraday is just broke broke and they're going to get knocked down to otc so no doubtably the next couple of days you're going to see excessive amount of dilution and that is just so they can survive under the otc for a little bit longer so i think right now it's just it's nothing really crazy it's just the writing on the wall just at this stage you just have to wait from the confirmation from the nasdaq that they are officially knocked off and like i said based on comparing it to other companies it's taken a good maybe about two days three days for that to finally go through so probably by friday you might actually have official pr saying that faraday is no longer under the nasdaq so let me know your thoughts on faraday give yourself a shout out have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing with faraday and make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo simply sign up for a new account throw $100 at it and they give you seven fractional shares of the mag 7 so this is a kick-ass deal link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching